Hey everybody, it's Makeup Me Marie. Welcome back to my channel. You guys, we got a sponsor. <laughs> Although this is a sponsor video, you guys know that I always give my honest and true opinions on products. A thank you to Ama Beauty for sending me this product to review. Knowing that I'm gonna give my honest review on this product, they had no problems with that, of course. That's the way it should be. So let's go ahead and get started on what I'm reviewing today. Okay, like I said, Ama Beauty is the company that sent me this all-in-one brush. It is a blow dryer and styler. So this is the brush. This is what it looks like. I got mine in the color blue. It comes in four different colors. You can get black, blue, pink, light green. So I decided to grab the blue one. Product I wanted to try because of course I have super curly hair and this claims to be a one step hair dryer where you can blow dry and style your hair at one time. Who does not love, you know, time savers, things to cut out steps? Usually when I press my hair, which I have not pressed my hair in a long time, I would have to blow dry it out, turn it into a frizzy mess, and then go back and flat iron it. So this claims you can do that all in one. So I'm excited to see how well that works on super curly hair like mine. Two things about this dryer, it has a 360 swivel cord, which is perfect for not getting your cords tangled up. I know that's just a major issue with a lot of these products, especially when you're blow drying or curling. That motion tends to tangle cords up and it's just a mess to have to deal with. It also has ion technology, which I'm not super familiar with that kind of thing. I just know if it dries my hair or if it doesn't. It says that it has negative ions that saturate the airflow to reduce the size of water droplets for drying faster. Basically, it's supposed to dry your hair quicker. So. Let's see if that works because my hair literally takes forever to dry. Ceramic coating on this. So with the ceramic coating, it's supposed to help distribute the heat evenly so you have more of an even dry. Also, I feel like that's gonna help with not burning your hair or damaging your hair. The heat is an even distribution. Okay, so this has three settings. You guys can see that. It has a low, high, and a cool. So the low setting is for fine and thin hair. High setting is for thick and coarse hair. And of course the, the cool setting is to lock everything in place. And it's just got a little digital here, which is super easy to use, uh, super easy to see. And it does light up when you turn it on. So you know always what you're on. I'm super, super excited to use this. And it has a sort of like a rubbery bristle. Then it has the brush, the brush bristle that sort of, I'm sure, helps that to smooth things out. So it has just two different types of bristles on that. Of course, it's a hair dryer styler, so my hair has to be somewhat wet to use this. I'm gonna go ahead and go wash my hair and we'll come back to see how well this thing works. Hey okay, guys, I'm back looking like a drowned rat. Whatever makeup I had on my face is no longer on this side of my face. The hair is freshly washed. I use a Giovanni Too Chic shampoo conditioner. I will link all the products that I use in the description box below if you guys are interested in that. I think I still have a video like how I wash my hair, what products I use. I'll link that up there. Before I use this blow dryer, I'm gonna go in with my Mayel leave-in conditioner. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of this. I literally have no more products for straightening my hair because I don't really straighten it anymore. So hopefully this doesn't do anything crazy under a dryer. Tiny, tiny bit of that. And then I always use my Ion Silk Drops. I use this for when my hair is curly and when I use to press it all the time. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in just for a little bit of protection from heat. And I'm gonna focus more of that on the ends of my hair. I'll just take a section in the front here to start off with. Get the rest of it up out of the way and see how this dryer works. Sort of nervous. I really have never used this kind of tool before. And like I said, I haven't really straightened my hair at all over the last couple years. Uh, you all know that we have been doing We Will Regrow 2020. <laughs> and that does not include doing any you know, heat or anything like that on my hair. So very, very uh, out of practice when it comes to that because I don't have very long hair but it looks like it will work pretty well. Like I can get in there pretty well and dry it. It's not catching on my hair at all. That's good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start on the low setting. That's for fine, thin hair. My hair is really thin 
and I, I would say it was it would be fine. I just have curly hair. That makes it look like I'm not bald headed, but for real, I am bald headed, y'all. This section would be good, or maybe I should split it just a little more. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. It's just a dial, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And that is on the low setting. So I think because it's new, it, there is a little bit of a burnt smell, but just like anything that you've been turned on in a while, that is going away. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this. I'm gonna do a couple passes. Okay, so my hair is dry. Let's see if I can get it more smooth though. Okay, so it is dry. I don't know about how smooth though. I mean, it's smoother than it would be with a hair dryer, but there's definitely still a lot of frizz to it. So maybe I'm gonna add just a little more oil to each section, just a tiny bit to sort of help with the smoothness and see if that uh, makes a difference. This is not super hot, so I don't feel like my hair is burning. You can see it did get it pretty straight, so let's see if I can work on the smoothness. I am not a professional, so this is going to be a learning curve for me as well. I'm sure more the more I use it, the better I get at it, but let's see if I can get it a little more smooth. Okay guys, I feel like this is as smooth as it's gonna get. This is a blow dryer, so of course you're not gonna get that super smooth texture that you're gonna get when you flat iron your hair. This is gonna be more like a, I, I know, like a Brazilian blowout where it's just big and voluminous. But yeah, it's pretty straight. It dried it really, really quickly, and I don't feel like my hair was overheated at all. So let's go ahead and do another section. I'm so scared to see what my hair looks like straight. I have been cutting it myself. I have been chopping it. It's probably gonna be a hot mess, so let's not worry about that. I said I'm gonna add a little more oil to each section just to help with my smoothness. I'm gonna brush through it and turn it on. Maybe I should try, let me try the high heat just for a minute and see how that works. All right, there's definitely a difference in how hot it gets with the high heat. I'm not comfortable using that on my little bald self, so I'm gonna go back to the low heat and uh, go back in with that. It is giving me a little bit of a curl on the end. Like I said, it's drying my hair pretty quickly. Okay guys, this is where it made a huge difference. Me turning it sort of up like that and blowing it backwards definitely made it a lot easier and I got better results that way. did my entire head so you can see I started getting the hang of it on this side with this loose curl situation I think this would be a lot smoother and a lot less frizzy if I had the right products like a smoothing product which I literally looked and I have none of those products without a smoothing product just a little oil and a little leave-in I feel like this is really good for uh, it ble being a blow dryer and a styler at the same time this is giving me like, I don't know, like Charlie's Angels, a Farrah Fawcett vibes. I was getting to this side, I started getting um, a rhythm and you can see all these big soft curls that it gave me. And that was just with me doing like a tight curl. So I definitely feel like that's so cute. Gives a lot of body, makes me look like I'll have a lot more hair than I have. 
And like I said, if you had the right products, like smoothing products, I definitely feel like this would get my hair super, super straight. So I think I'm gonna go out and get some smoothing products and maybe try this again and see how straight I can get it or how more, I wouldn't say straight, but more smooth. I do like this sort of full um, curl, smooth curl look. It's super cute on this side. Um, we had to tuck her on this side because this was the side we started on. So we're just gonna tuck her behind the ear. Go ahead with the pros and cons. So the pros is I feel like it's not gonna be super damaging on your hair. I used the low setting and I don't feel like my hair got too hot. I didn't get, my scalp didn't get burned. I didn't burn anything on my hands, which is great. My hair never got snagged or tangled on this. I have super long hair. It's a big enough barrel to accommodate that. Some of the cons, I feel like it was super uh, hard to sort of move the dial on and off in between sectioning out pieces of my hair. My hair, my fingers were a little slick, had a little bit of oil, so it was sort of hard sometimes to move that around. I did try the cool setting. I didn't really feel like it was cooling anything because this is pretty warm and it stays warm. Maybe if you let it just run on cool for longer, that would probably be something that would work. And uh, the cord, I feel like could be also a con. Five and a half to six feet long, which is just long enough, I think, if you're sitting by a you know, plug-in. But if you were trying to use this on a person, like do somebody else's hair, you have to be pretty close to the wall. The cord's not super long, but it's long enough if you're doing it on your own hair. So overall, I think this is a good product. I definitely am gonna try it again. Now that I sort of know how to use it a little better, I literally have never used one of these before on my hair or anybody else's head. I think this is a good, good product. So I will make sure to link all the information for this product in the description box below if you guys wanna check it out. Again, thank you, Ama Beauty, for sponsoring this video and sending me this product to try. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure to check out my other Amazon review videos here.